Welcome to Kids on Trucks. I'm Chris. This is Waylon. We're working on a 1978 Toyota Land Cruiser and today we're going to install all of these seat belts. Today's episode is brought to you by Cool Cruisers of Texas. Check them out online at coolcruisers.com. In order to install your seat belts, you're going to need a few things. One, we've got our seat belt kit, which includes the front seat belts, the rear seat belts, the mounting hardware. We also have a 17 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter wrench. Included with the seatbelt kit are the instructions. And if you cannot read Taiwanese, then go to coolcruisers.com for full colored pictures and instructions in English. There's two different ways to install the seatbelts. The first way is to put the seat belts in the factory locations on the wall of the Land Cruiser. The second way is to install them with the mounting hardware that Cool Cruisers provides, which puts them on the roll bar. The advantage to mounting your seat belts on the roll bar is that you can remove the top and still have use of your seat belts. We're going to go over both methods in this video. First, I'll show you how to mount the seat belts in the factory locations. Right next to the driver's seat on the wall, there's a mounting point which the reel, the retracting reel, will get mounted to. So you're just going to take one of the bolts that came with the kit, put it through the mounting hole on the reel, and bolt it into that spot on the wall there. When you're installing the retracting reel, you want to make sure that it's straight up and down. Otherwise, you're going to have problems with that belt retracting. Once you've got the retracting reel mounted to the wall, you take your anchor point and it already has a bolt in it. So you pop the cap open and then you install that on this point up here above the seat so now we just take the end of the seat belt and we're gonna mount it right here where this bolt is next to that acorn nut so we'll just take this one off of here And like that, we've got the seat belt mounted in the factory position with the anchor point on the wall, the retracting reel on the wall. So the second way to install the seat belts is to put them on the roll bar. So we'll start again with the retracting reel and we're gonna bolt this to this L bracket and then mount the L bracket on the base of the roll bar. So now we've got the seat belt mounted in the roll bar position where the outside corner of the roll bar gets the L bracket. The L bracket gets the retracting reel. The anchor point gets mounted to an extension bracket off of the roll bar. And then the bottom of the seat belt goes on the side of the seat. Works every time. The original driver's seat seat belt has a switch on it to detect if your seat belt is buckled or not. If your seat belt was unbuckled, a light would come on your dash that says fasten seat belts. The new buckle doesn't come with that switch in it, 
So what we're gonna do is just bypass that switch so that our light on the dashboard isn't constantly on. So what you wanna do is take this harness connection coming out of the floor between the two seats that your driver's seat belt was connected to and cut that connection and terminate these wires together. That way it thinks the seat belt is always fastened and the light on your dashboard is not gonna come on. With the rear seat belts, you're just gonna undo the bolt on the outside corner of the roll bar and anchor the seat belt there. And then you're gonna undo the bolt on the inside corner of the roll bar and anchor the seat belt right there. And like that, the rear jumper seat seat belt is installed. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching and check out coolcruisers.com for all your FJ40 needs.